Yeah, I am optimistic about our industry. Cast iron has a lot of advantages. We have strength and stiffness and wear resistance. Uh, we can contribute to life cycle energy and CO2 reduction, uh, recycling at end of life, um, and of course cost reduction. As our industry begins to include electrification and things like autonomous driving, the cost of vehicles will increase and cast iron can help to offset that. Um, last year our industry made something like 90 million vehicles. The general consensus is that in 2030 we'll make around 110 million vehicles. And of course some of those will be pure battery electric vehicles, but most of them will still have an internal combustion engine. And I think there's every probability for our industry that we'll make more engines in 2030 than we did in 2020. Cast iron industry is quite good at innovation. Over the last years we've developed os-tempered ductile iron, uh, we've developed compacted graphite iron, more recently we work on high silicon ductile irons. So there's a lot of technical innovation. Um, when I joined the industry in the early 1990s, the minimum wall thickness for an engine block was 4.5 millimeters. Um, today we're producing at 3.0 millimeters and we're making them in high volume. So I think that the cast iron industry has a really good history of innovation. What the cast iron industry has to get better at is telling its story. We have all of these advantages, um, but the end users don't really know as enough about them. So I think that we just need to get better at telling our story.